Goodbye Spectra, hello Forte, and hello to you. My name is Mike West and this is a review of the newest effort from Kia called the Forte. Let's take a look. The front grille looks a little like a Civic, and I think the tail looks a little like a Lexus. If you're going to borrow, why not borrow from the best? Ikea says the stance of this car is wider and more aggressive. The lines are pretty nice. I gotta tell you, the interior is very impressive. The seats are supportive. You couple that with a tilt steering column, Bluetooth, a very nice sound system with three months of free Sirius satellite, an MP3 jack, steering wheel mounted controls for audio and cruise control, and an optional sunroof, and if you want, heated leather seats. It also has more passenger volume than the competition, because, you know, we Americans are growing. The trunk gives up 14.7 cubic feet of space, plenty large for groceries, because you know we like to eat, or a weekend getaway. You can go for a 156 horsepower four or step up to 173 ponies. The engine is a little buzzy, not quite as refined as say a Honda power plant. The Forte averaged 36 miles per gallon during my test drive and the people at Kia pamper you with a 10-year or 100,000-mile limited powertrain warranty. Pretty nice. And the price? Pretty incredible. Just 14000 and change for the base model. A Kia is serious about competing with Toyota, Mazda, Nissan, and Honda. They have some work to do. Toyota sold five times as many of its Corollas compared to the Spectra. But things could change now that the Spectra is history and the Forte has arrived. And after a week in this new Kia, I can say that I'm really impressed. The Kia Forte, on sale now. I'm Mike West. Remember, there are no bad cars these days, just bad drivers. Bye.